Okay, guys, if we look at our screen on the left, we have our JPEG image, and on the right, we have our RAW file. As you can see, the one on the right is a, is a little more vivid. Really, it's a lot more vivid than the one on the left. Don't forget that your camera is compressing and filtering that image uh, for you. So what you see on the left is basically what the camera spit out. On the right, untouched, everything that was recorded is in your file here. So let's let's go ahead and jump in here. Let's take a quick look at our JPEG first. And let's uh, blow that up and let's see how that looks on our screen. Let's move into the uh, develop module here of Lightroom. Uh, okay, if you quickly look over to the right here, uh, we have your blacks. If you can see your blacks here, they're all the way down. There's really no room for you to move anymore. Uh, again, your, uh, your camera has thrown all that information out the window. Second thing I want you to notice is that the embedded um, color profile is not available. So there's on your camera you have your standard, you have your portrait, uh, you have all those other uh, settings available on your camera. But because this is a JPEG, your camera did not record it, just threw it all out and just gave you what you see here. Okay, so let's try and lighten up this image. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's uh, let's lighten up this image a little bit here to see what we get out of uh, get out of this. So let's first go down our shadows here, and let's bump up our shadows and let's see where this takes us. All right, so we're barely getting anything out of there. So let's try also uh, getting rid of the darks a little bit and bringing that up. I don't want to bump that up too much because we'll start getting ugly there. Now let's build up. Uh, let's bring up the fill light. I'm sorry. This is where you probably start getting a little bit of grain. Um, bringing up your fill light too much will introduce uh, some noise into your image. As you can see, it's not that sharp, this image. It is, it is pretty bad. Uh, if we zoom in here a little bit, you can start seeing all those details. Let's, let's get in a little closer here. Now, guys, you're never really going to zoom in this close, so what I'm doing is just I'm really exaggerating the zoom. But I do want you to see all these little different color patterns that you see in there the purples, the greens, and yellows, and so forth. Now, you can't take that out by adjusting uh, your noise reduction uh, here on the right. If you look to the right here of Lightroom, you have a noise reduction, your luminance, and your color. So if we took our color and move that slider up, you see how it all disappears? So now it's pretty all neutral. Uh, you can even get rid of some of the, the noise that's there by bringing that up. So you can get rid of it, but the problem is, is that your image is going to look not too sharp. It's pretty blurry, so if you can see in here. So uh, if we bring that noise back down, there you go. It sharpens up. But again, you've got a lot of noise in there still, so you can see all that noise. Uh, all right, let's move on to our RAW file. Let's see how that looks now. Okay, so we're back at the library module. Again, on the left is our JPEG, and on the right is our uh, RAW file. So it is pretty dark, but let's go ahead and work with this image, and let's see uh, what kind of details we get out of it. And for some reason, I opened my JPEG, but it's all right. Here is our RAW file. All right, so first thing we want to notice right here, here's my blacks. You see how my black levels uh, are up now? Because there is that uh, information, there is that detail in the photo. You can't see it, but it's there. Also, at the bottom here, here is where we have our profiles. Uh, here's all the ones that are in your camera. So now you have the choice of choosing which one you want to use. Now, I just use a camera standard. Sometimes I use a neutral. But in this case, I just I want to deal with all the settings myself, and I want to adjust them how I feel uh, is appropriate. Uh, let's go to our shadows. Let's uh, bump up our shadows here. Let's see how this looks. It's probably going to be roughly around the same. Uh, but once we drop down the darks, you guys are going to see a dramatic, dramatic difference. I mean the blacks. So here's our blacks right here. As you can see, it gives us a little bit of room to play with. Now let's drop that down and see how we look. All right, huge difference already just right there. Uh, now with that, let's bring up our darks a little bit. Okay, so we still see some noise in our image, and that's, that's fine. But all the detail is there. Uh, you're not sacrificing the sharpness versus if we went back to uh, our JPEG. Uh, let's go up to the 
spot where we're at here. You could see the difference in the sharpness, you know, in the image. That's a lot sharper than what this looks like. This looks very muddy and so forth. So here, yes, we do have a little bit of noise. Like I said, Lightroom can get rid of that as well. So you won't have to over-exaggerate the uh, noise reduction. You can bring it down a little bit. Also bring up your, um, your color reduction. But again, if you get in the details, if you get in close, you're not missing all that uh, color uh, information. It's all there. You know, it's not like your JPEG. Uh, if you look closely to the JPEG, you can see that it is missing all that color information. Here, we had to bump up uh, that color a lot, but let's let's bring it back down to, to nothing. See that? That looks pretty ugly right there. So going back uh, to your RAW file, uh, you're going to get a lot sharper image. Much better, much better. So again, this is an exaggerated look uh, at your the difference between the raw and the JPEG a lot more vivid now it is a little dark but you can always uh, fix that up you can always bring up your brightness and voila now again this is an exaggerated view of raw versus JPEG but your image is a lot more sharper you've got a lot more detail in your image you would never shoot straight out of the camera so dark and underexpose your image you're always going to try and get the best image right out of the camera so when you do work with it in post-production uh, it's not that bad you're not going to lose all the details so here I went uh, super stark contrast between the light and dark but again a final look at both the images there you go uh, raw on the left JPEG on the right as you can see there's a lot more color a lot more vividness in the image on the left versus the JPEG on the right it's just really muddy and not sharp. Okay, guys, hope you learned from watching me do this.